It was a fascinating experience. We flew out there to go meet with them and I never forget as long as I live, I sat down with this guy who was a very like sophisticated investor and he's like, what are you gonna pitch him? And I had this folder, this binder with all of our stuff and our renderings and our things and the whole thing. And he's like, dude, you're, you're out of your mind. He won't look at any of that. He's like, you need one page. I'm sitting in Trump's office in New York City, pitching him this real estate deal and hand him this one page and he kind of does one of those and he sets it down. Well, two hours later, you know, we ended up, you know, striking a deal and, and he came out and looked at the ground and we were gonna build this huge thing together and then the market crashed. I say that simply because if I think back to the pivotal things that have really shaped me, that was one of those meetings where I realized like the complexity is not always the reality. That's not always the best path. Simplicity is the best path. And that's something that I think has helped me a lot because every time I found myself in trouble, it's because I'm trying to do too much. I'm going way too complex. And so, you know, from a pivotal standpoint, that as I'm thinking about it is, is one of the more pivotal moments for me in my, in, in my business career. You know, we talk about adapting sales pitches to personality types, right? Yeah. So Trump is a guy, he wants a napkin version. You yeah. better not confuse him with all the details, get to the point, uh, be punchy about it. You know, talk about the benefits immediately, put it on one page, like you said. Yeah. You know, if you're pitching to somebody else who needs the details, then adapt, right? But yeah. what a valuable learning lesson.